and see what it looks like. Oh, it bled really bad. Okay, it bled really bad, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Wendy from Cottage 321. Hope y'all are doing good today. It's Wacky Wednesday with Wendy. So today we're going to do a quick little uh, creative. I'm going to take this old tin, this old bucket that I bought at, um, it's either Goodwill or Salvation Army, probably for like two bucks or something. We're going to paint it. We're going to put one of our JRV stencils on it. I've got some leftover pieces from this uh Trans decor transfer that's got flowers and stuff and I think I would love to like add some flowers and stuff to this or some words as well so we'll just play with that and see now since this thing's pretty dirty I'm not going to paint the inside I like that that's kind of a stainless steel in there and I'm just going to leave it alone that way if you wanted to use it for an ice bucket or something you could still use it for that it also be beautiful with flowers in it or other things so first thing I'm do is clean it just going to use a real good uh, degreaser and just clean it up. I got me a little rag, damp rag here. Just try to get all the dirt and any dust and grease or anything like that off of it. Because if you do have that, the paint won't adhere very well. Farmhouse paint sticks to pretty much everything. You just got to make sure it's clean. That's really the only prep you have to do. If you have peeling paint, you would want to sand it smooth and make sure that you don't have um, any flake in pieces. So I'm just going to cover these places where there's a little bit of uh, lettering. I'm going to use this because I'm going to stencil in black. So I'm going to use this to do my pouncing with. So I'll use it also just to cover these areas right here. This has got kind of like a... I hope it'll stick to this. It's got like some kind of like kind of plastic on it. And I don't think I want it to get it on that bottom edge because that is stainless steel and that might be a cool look to leave that. So it's looking a little bit weird. We'll see if that dries on there. If not, I might have to rough this up just a little bit to get it to stick. But yeah, it's like a little plastic film over it. Might have to do a couple coats. A little bit of black on the edge here. Let me blow dry that and see if it's going to stick. Let me find my blow dryer. Make sure it's not going to come off. Dried. Let me try one more coat and see what happens. If it still looks kind of transparent. Alright, it's kind of sticking. I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around it. bird on a tree all right so that's pretty much got it covered that looks pretty good I don't it does not have to be perfect I'm gonna leave it just like that and this side looks pretty good looks pretty darn good okay I'm going to put my paintbrush in this baggie here to keep it from drying out because we're going to use it for our stencil once we get our green color on. I'm going to probably hit it with the blow dryer one more time. I am using one of my samples that is kind of old and when, when your paint starts getting older or drying out, all you have to do is add a little bit of water to it and it'll kind of just keep stirring it and it'll loosen back up and so I'm going to use I don't waste anything I'm going to use this we're going to use our grip brush I am going to hit this just one more time with the hair dryer to make sure we're good and dry you can see it turn from shiny to chalky this one's still pretty wet 
I think I'll just start on this side here that is pretty dry. I'm going to use my grip brush because it has a nice angle and I'll be able to get right underneath that lip without getting it on to the edges. So I'm going to have to add a little bit of water to this guy and stir it up. So this is one that's gotten a little chunky. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Just a little bit at a time, not a lot. You don't want to water it down too much, too much, or it'll look it will look um, whitewashed or greenwashed or whatever you want to call it. I'm getting a, let me add just a little bit more water. I just like to do a little bit at a time so it doesn't get too, I'm just mixing this up, trying to get it a little bit more liquid, not too liquid, but a nice like consistency of paint. It's almost there. The bottom is really hard and thick, but we're going to keep using it. And I think, let me get my water bottle, and we can also kind of spread it with that. I'll put it on thick and then spread it. <laughs> Got my water bottle. That helps spread sometimes the paint if it feels like it's sticking a little too hard. I love this color. It's called Verdant, and it's a very bright, pretty green. Okay. It's still thick, but I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to see if it's going to work here. It's real thick. So what I'm going to do is just spray a little bit and see if I can get it to spread out. I honestly don't care if a little bit of that black is showing through. I'm not going to make it be perfect. I kind of like a rustic look. If I get any on the top up here, I can just wipe it off with either my finger or this rag. Let's see if I can get it on there. You could put tape if you want to. I hate using tape unless I just have to use it. I don't. I'm just using the water to kind of help it move the paint a little bit. It's kind of mixing with that black a little bit and turning gray, but the second coat I put on, it'll be more green. Get the edge down here. Y'all can see that good. And we'll let that dry and I'll come back with a second coat. Trying to turn this where y'all can see. See how it's kind of blending that black in that um, it's because the black wasn't completely cured yet. I could also dip in water and do it, but I kind of like to do the spray because it makes the water a little bit, um, it's a little thinner and not too watered down. It's kind of cool looking. Get around that edge. See how I can kind of just press that into the edge and get nice and tight. Put a little bit more paint on there. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Get around this edge first 
This is the grip. It's available online and in store as well. As you can see, it's ergonomical. See how that it fits right into my hand like that. It's got a nice little angle to it, so it's really easy to get right up against the edge without me getting paint on everything. It has synthetic bristles as well, so it doesn't show uh, brush strokes as bad. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. my uh, sponge sander because it's a lighter it's a lighter uh, what do you call that it's not as coarse so I'm going to try this out and just see if this is going to be okay I'm not trying to go down to bare I'm just trying to smooth it out a little bit I want to make sure that the paint especially right there I want to make sure that the paint's going to stay couple places it went down to bare, but because it's gray underneath, it'll be okay. I'm definitely going to put a raincoat over this. I think that'll help it stay a little bit better. Raincoat is our waterproofer, and um, it's what you would use if you paint something that you want to put outside on your porch. Um, you would put a a uh, couple coats of raincoat on it to protect it, kind of waterproofs it, and anyway, that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to wipe it down with a damp rag, get that dust off. It's kind of cool look. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so here's our bucket, just been coated with um, Black Noir, was our undercoat, and then we did Verdant Green. We kind of dry brushed it on there. I'm going to kind of take this down, try to center it as best I can on there. I'm going to turn it so you guys can see. Um, try to get that as close to as I can. And because it's curved, it makes it a little more fun. It's a little bit harder, but I'm going to tape the sides down. Make sure it's on there straight, and then I'll turn it back around. So I'm going to take this kind of flat round brush. We, I'm going to be getting us some stencil brushes really soon. This is as close to a stencil brush as I got. You need something that's kind of flat and rigid. And you're going to dip it in, then you're going to off-put it a little bit, and then just pounce up and down on, over your stencil. These stencils are JRV stencils, and this is the Fresh uh, Flower Market stencil. And um, these are like 15 mil, so they, that, that's the thickness of the stencil. So they're thicker than your normal stencils, which is nice. It makes them last a long time also easier to stencil with. So I'm going to try to keep it down flat as much as I can. And did I cover up my tea here a little bit? I did. I covered up my tea. So let me move that out of the way. And I'm just going to start pouncing. <laughs> Turn it around here where y'all can see. You don't want to brush it because it could go underneath the stencil and bleed. You get that smeared look. So I'm just up and down, up and down, kind of hard. I'm trying not, see there right there, I'm going to put me some more tape at the bottom so I don't have to worry about going over my stencil here. It's kind of close to the bottom. So dip it in your paint, off put it a little bit, and then kind of hold it down. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell. I'm gonna peel this 
back and do a little reveal and see what it looks like. Oh, it bled really bad. Okay, it bled really bad, y'all. I think it was because of the curve. So that's bad. That is not good. So let me see what I can do here. Yeah, okay, so now that the paint's wet, when I try to wet it and wipe it off, it is totally pulling all the paint off. So because this is a weird background, this is what happens. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm only going to do this one side because I know it's an issue. I'm going to come back, I'm going to dry this, and I'm going to come back with a fine brush and paint and clean up my lines with the green, and hopefully that'll work. So let's dry this and see if we can't fix it. That bled super bad. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yep, y'all get to see me fail. It happened. <laughs> so that was what I didn't want it to do. And I don't know why it did that, actually. That's why I try to tell y'all that every piece is different. So I'm going to dry this really quick. And then I'm going to find a fine, uh, like, painter's brush and try to touch this up. Get a paintbrush real quick and we're going to try to fix that. And I'll probably, if I can get this cleaned up and I'm going to let it like kind of cure a little bit, I'll come back and lightly sand it and make it look a little more faded out. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm just kind of cleaning up the letters where it bled really bad. I'm just trying to get the straight sides first and then I'll come back with another smaller brush and get the middles. It actually is like adding a shadow effect <laughs> uh, by putting this color around it. It's kind of cool. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's adding a shadow effect to that with the, well I shouldn't say shadow, it's actually brighter than a shadow, but um, it kind of, I think it's kind of cool looking. So I'm just trying to clean up where it bled. This little brush I have has a nice little straight line on it, so it helps. But I'm going to have to get something smaller here in just a minute because these down here at the bottom are definitely smaller. All right, let me get a smaller brush. Water. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors. Forever free You and me Meant to be so Don't be scared y'all If you mess up you could always scratch and start over again I'm just going to try to kind of clean this up I think once I sand it And make it look a little more rustic It'll look fine It's looking a little bit better This down here at the bottom Is very muddled so I'm just going to try to clean it up a little bit more. So um, some people, like you can see these little lines. That's because of the way the stencil's made so that um, it'll stay together. It has little lines in different spots. Some people like to connect those so that it doesn't look like it was a stencil. I don't mind that. You could fiddle with it all day. I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let it dry really good. Y'all probably can't see the bleeding as bad as I can see it. It looks a little bit better, but I'm going to let that completely cure like several hours. I may wait even till tomorrow. Show y'all up close. It's a little bit like on the around the edges, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to lightly sand that and see if it looks any better. I think that's pretty cute. I am not going to put it on the back side because I don't like that it bled like that, but I am going to try to put some of this home transfer on there. I'm going to test a spot off camera first to make sure it's going to work, and then if it does, we'll do that together on Friday, okay? So anyway, Hope y'all like that. We're not finished yet. We're gonna keep, we're gonna finish it up Friday. Okay. Y'all have an awesome rest of your Wednesday. I appreciate you joining in with me. If you really, if you really want to help me out, 
uh, share this video to your own personal page and get people to see our content and also know about our store. We have people that come in every day that have never been to our store. It's their first time and they probably just live a couple miles away, which is kind of crazy to me, but we do have people that don't know where we are or that we even exist still in our area. And even if you don't live near us, we have lots for everything now that's store, we're making sure that we are putting it on our website as well as in our store. Just in case we ever get shut down again, we, we can still do curbside and we can still ship. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to live an inspired life. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your week. We'll see you Friday. Bye-bye.